welcome to today's prenatal Pilates class for our lower body. Now I've designed this sequence to be safe for all three trimesters of pregnancy, but if there's anything that we do that doesn't feel comfortable for you, please feel free to step back and rest where you need to. If you're new to Element, welcome. My name is Jennifer. I'm a Pilates and yoga teacher, and I specialize in women's health. I'm passionate about helping women through fertility exercise, pregnancy, and beyond. I'm also 29 weeks pregnant with my second baby, and I'm just finding these shorter workouts at the moment are a really good way for me to finish the day, especially if I don't quite have the energy for a full length class. Now, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. That way you can keep up to date with all the new videos and tutorials that get posted each week. If you have any questions, pop them down into the comments below. I also have a free prenatal health and exercise guide available, and it just details all of the things that we should and shouldn't be doing exercise wise throughout pregnancy. If you'd like a copy of that, you can follow the link, which I've also listed down below. Okay, when you're ready, let's get over to our mats. So for our class today, you may need a small folded towel or a blanket, something to place underneath your knees if you don't feel comfortable kneeling directly on the mat. Otherwise, bring yourself down into the center of your mat here, starting off kneeling with knees about hip distance apart, good legs are at parallel, have your arms reaching long beside your body. Let's lengthen up through the crown of the head. Give your shoulders a big roll up towards those ears. Breathe in and then exhale, release them down. We'll do one more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Open through the chest. Now take your right arm to the ceiling as you breathe in. Exhale. Let's come over into a side bend. Reach out through the fingertips, lengthening through the side neck. Draw the shoulders down. Inhale. Come up. And exhale to lower other side. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale over, stretch it across, easing out any tension through your side body. Inhale, we lift. And exhale to lower. Let's bring our hands now to our low belly. Lengthening again up through the spine, reach the crown of the head to the ceiling. Now let's take a deep breath in. Feel your belly expand and widen. On your exhale, feel your belly soften and release back in. And again, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now on the next breath, we'll start to engage our core muscles. Use your breath in to prepare. On your exhale, lift and engage through your pelvic floor muscles. Now adding onto that a connection through your core. Feel like you're drawing your baby up and in towards the spine. Inhale to release that all the way down. Let's do that again. Exhale, engage the pelvic floor, engage the lower abdominal muscles. Draw your baby inwards, supporting into the wards that back and release. Well done. Now I'll keep reminding you throughout the class to keep that connection through your core and your pelvic floor. Now I'm gonna turn side on so you can see the positioning of my posture a little bit more easily. Let's make our way now up to a high kneeling position. Again, the knees should still be directly down underneath the hips and your feet should also be back in line with your hips as well rather than bringing the feet together. Slightly tuck under through that tailbone. You may feel a little bit of a stretch across the front of the hips here if you do that, especially if you have a bigger belly later in pregnancy and you're feeling tight in hip flexors. We'll start here with our kneeling hinge. Arms are straight beside you. Let's use the inhale to lean our shoulders back towards the heels. Arms extend out in front, feel the front thigh muscles. Exhale, return back to the top. And again, we inhale, lean it back. Exhale, return. Keep squeezing into your glutes, your bottom muscles here as well to help support and stabilize your low back. And lengthening up, we have two more. Starting to really warm up through those front thighs. And lift, last one. Keep looking straight ahead, long in the neck. Inhale, lean back. Exhale up. Now let's take it into a kneeling squat. This time we lean our hips back, but bend at the hips and bring your chest forwards. Exhale, come all the way up, straight line through the spine. Inhale, squat back, reach forward. And exhale, lift it up, just three to go. 
So still feeling work through those thigh muscles, engaging a little more into the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and the back of the hips here, your glutes. On your next one, lean back, hold that squat, keep reaching arms forward, relax shoulders down from ears, engage your core, your pelvic floor. Now let's sit our hips about two centimeters lower and then lift, lower, lift, keep going for three and down two. Last one, bring it all the way up back to the top, squeeze those glutes to finish and then release and sit back onto those heels. Well done. Walk your hands behind you. Have your fingertips pointing towards your feet. Lift and open your chest. And then open through the front of the hips and just float your pelvis up off the heels. And then release it down. Let's walk the hands forward now into four point kneeling. Your hands are directly beneath shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Press up gently between the shoulder blades so your upper body is strong and supporting you. And connect again through your core and your pelvic floor to support the lower back. From here, we gently let our hips rock from side to side. Okay, just allowing any tension to ease out of those hip joints. So keeping those arms nice and straight and strong. Let's do one more each way. Now, once you have evened out your hip rocks, return back into your center position. Now again, find that core connection to get ready for some balance and leg work together. Extend your right foot out behind you. Now tuck your toes to begin. Let's shift our weight back slightly so you feel that calf stretch releasing out through the back of the ankle. As you inhale, release forward. Exhale and press back. Good, one more, forward, exhale back. Now release, hold that right leg out behind you. Find that connection through the glute and the hamstring, squeeze the bottom muscles. Keep drawing your front ribs up and in away from the mat and hug your baby into your spine. Let's point the right toes now and float that leg up off the mat. Only lift the leg as high as you can keep your spine straight. As you inhale, lower it halfway down. Exhale, lift. Halfway lower. Squeeze and lift. We have three. Feel that connection all the way up the back of the leg, back of the hip. Last one. Now hold the leg up. Bend your knee so your toes are pointing to the ceiling. See if you can lift that knee just a little bit more. Lower it halfway. Squeeze it up. Just four more. Strong arms, strong core muscles to support you at the same time. Last two, point lift, one more, squeeze it, hold it there, stretch the leg out, and then lower and release. Bring that knee back under your hips, rock side to side once or twice. Good, now reset yourself back to center. Let's take it to the other side, left leg extends back, tuck the toes. Begin by shifting your weight back, stretching out the ankle, the calves. Release forward, inhale. Exhale, press it back. Let's do one more of those. And slide your body weight back, good. Press through the heel, release. Now point the toes, engage through the back of the leg. Keep pushing up through the shoulders, connect your core and your pelvic floor once again. Now float that leg up as far as you can without moving the spine. Lower the leg halfway, then squeeze it up. Just four more. These can be really small movements. Three. And you might feel a bit of work through that supporting hip as well, just to stabilize you. Hold it up here, last one. Good, now bend the knee, point the toes to the ceiling. Lower the knee again, halfway down. Squeeze and lift. We have four. Press it up, little movements, remember three. Getting right into the hamstrings, right into those glutes. Last one now, hold it up. Keep the knee lifted, extend the leg, squeeze, press it up a little higher, and then lower, release. Take your knees a little bit wider than your hips, and let's sit back now for a shell stretch. Round your spine, relax your head down. 
Now let's come into a side lying position. Make your way down onto the mat. If you need a support for your neck, you may want to grab that towel or blanket, fold it up and make a pillow. Otherwise, you can set yourself up with your bottom arm folded or straight underneath you, whatever is comfortable here for your body. Let's have the knees bent in front of the hips. The feet should be lined up with your hips behind you and your back is nice and straight. Try not to round it forwards or extend it back. Take your top hand onto your hip just to check your pelvic stability here. Now lift and engage your core and your pelvic floor muscles as well. Let's begin by floating our feet up to the ceiling so your feet and your knees are still together. We'll begin here with our clam. Take an inhale to prepare. On your exhale, rotate your top knee to the ceiling. Open that hip. Now really squeeze that side of the glute. Inhale, bring the knees gently down with control. Let's go again, exhale, bring the knee up and inhale lower. Now as you do this, I want you to use your top hand as a guide, okay? That hand is there to stop your pelvis from rolling backwards. Let's keep everything nice and strong. Five more of these. So we should be starting to feel the muscles through that outer hip, your top glutes engaging. Four to go, inhale lower. Exhale up, three, release, and two, one more. Now let's hold it up for a breath, opening that hip, squeeze through those glutes, lift the knee just a fraction higher if possible, and then lower it down, release the feet to the mat. Second set here, extend your top leg, reach the toes out and away from the body. Make sure the leg is long in line with your torso. Now let's go for a lift and lower from here exhale up inhale lower and so just working straight out through the side thigh side hip muscles here reach out through those toes now on the next one hold that leg up keep that height of your leg and draw a little circle up and around for five and four as you circle the leg keep the pelvis still keep your core muscles engaged and one, let's reverse the circle. Ready, bring it forwards for five. Doesn't have to be big, just keep it moving, keep it lifting up, three. That's it, two. Now hold it up, last one. See if you can lift the leg a little higher. Remember, it shouldn't be forwards or back, long in line with the body. Now tiny pulse, up for five, up for four, three, two, one and release it down well done give that hip a little bit of a rub maybe a massage with your hand or your knuckles now let's use our arms to press up to sitting try to keep your belly relaxed as you come up turn your legs around and let's go for the other side take a little moment to get yourself comfortable whether that's with a towel or a blanket or just your arm to support your head bend your knees so your feet are back in line with your hips that's it. Now, when you're ready, bring your top hand onto your pelvis. Connect your core and your pelvic floor. Float your feet just up off the mat to begin. Let's inhale, prepare for those clams. Exhale, rotate your top knee up. And then inhale, bring it down with control. So you may find that one hip has a little more movement than the other, which is very common. It's very common for us to get a little tighter on one side of the hips during pregnancy. So if that's the case, just take your time with whichever side is tight. Go no rush, work within your range only, keeping that pelvis completely still. Draw the abdominals in. Let's do four more. Exhale up, inhale lower, and three. Control it down. That's a great job, two more. Now get ready to hold the last one. Lift that knee. Good, keep that pelvis rock solid. See if you can open that hip just a little bit more. And then bring the knee down, lower the feet. Really second set. Let's extend our top leg out and away from the body. Really reach out through the toes. Good, take an inhale again, prepare. Exhale to lift the leg. Inhale to lower. Remember the leg is only lifting up as high as you can keep everything else still. If you're rolling your hip back, you'll know the leg has gone a little bit too far up. 
Two more. Exhale up. Down. Now one more. Let's hold that leg up. Squeeze out through the side glute. Reach through the toes. Draw a small circle up and around. Lift and around. Breathe through it for three. Up two. Up one. Now reverse that circle. We're nearly there. Five and four. Good. Three. Lift two. Now hold the last one. Lift that leg just a little higher. Squeeze the glute and then tiny pulse up for five, up for four, three, two, one, and release it. Well done. Again, rub, massage that hip if you need. Or right, use your arms again to press you up to sitting. We'll come up for a gentle hip stretch. Take a seat on the mat with your feet flat in front of you, hands just supporting your back. Cross one ankle over the opposite thigh and now stretch up and open through your chest here. Now you may find that this is enough stretch just holding this position. If you need a bigger stretch though, you can bring your bottom foot a little closer in towards your hips and that should deepen that release into your glute. If it feels comfortable now, let's add a little rock from side to side. And as you rock and draw the leg across the body, that should increase the stretch even more into the hip. Good, let's do that one more time. And release. Good, swap your legs. Cross the other ankle up and over. Readjust that bottom foot if you need to get a deeper stretch or perhaps release it a little bit, whatever works for you. And then add a little rock from side to side if you're ready. That's it. Just breathing into it. Let's do one more. And release your leg. Now extend both legs out in front of you. Have the feet about as wide as the mat. Flex the toes up to the ceiling. Now reach your arms out in front, lengthen through your spine. Start to lean and hinge forward. Good, now if you've got quite a big belly, if you're towards the end of your pregnancy, you may need to stay up and hold this position. However, if you have a little more space and you would like a deeper stretch, reach forward a little bit more, round the spine, perhaps grab a hold of your toes and then use your arms to just gently draw you down a little bit more. Keep those feet flexed. Relax all the tension out of the back of the body. Drop the head down if you wish. Stay here one more breath. And then release. Bring those hands back behind you. Just support your body weight. And now bring those legs into about hip distance apart and start to walk out through the feet. So flexing and pointing the toes. It's a really nice way to release tension or swelling at the end of the day if you notice that your feet, your ankles are starting to swell up. Good. Flex both toes to ceiling and just draw some circles all the way around with the feet. And then reverse. Good, and then release it. All right, let's make our way to a comfortable seated position to finish. Remember, if you need to sit on something, prop yourself up onto that towel or bolster to give you a little more support. Good, bring your hands back to your lower belly. Think about your posture here to finish. So we reach up through the crown of the head, roll those shoulders up, back and down, release any tension. Good, the rib cage is drawing up and away from the hips. There's a small natural curve underneath the lower part of your back. And I want you to think of engaging your pelvic floor now, engaging your core muscles. Find that connection. And then softly release your belly all the way down. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I'll see you soon. 
I hope you enjoyed our class today. As I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to place them down into the comments below. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about prenatal health and exercise, or about myself or Element, you can head over to our website, elementpilatesyoga.com. There you'll find lots of great resources to help you through your pregnancy. And there are some full length classes and programs for you to try as well. I hope to see you again soon.